Hello friends and welcome to another Montessori video. Today we are going to read a story. So this month our curriculum is all about South America. Um, so we are learning the animals of South America right now. And we've been talking about um, amphibians and reptiles. Uh, the book that I'm going to read to you today is about an amphibian. It is a frog and uh, Amphibians are animals um, that live both on water and, or on land and in water. So they start in water and they have gills and then they transform just like a butterfly transforms from a caterpillar to a butterfly as they grow older. Um, the amphibian grows from a gill breathing animal that can breathe underwater to an air breathing animal that has lungs. Um, so we are going to learn all about the frog today and you have to bear with me because I have never read a story um, in front of a camera. So uh, I will, like I do in circle time, I will read the page and then I will show you. So you just have to be patient before you see the page. All right, this is from Tadpole to Frog by Wendy Pfeiffer, illustrated by Holly Keller. This is a frog pond, but where are the frogs? When winter winds whistle, the frogs hide. They sleep at the bottom of the pond in the soft mud. Frogs hibernate in their hideaway all winter long. Remember what hibernate means? means to rest. After the ice melts, flowers appear, birds return, and pond creatures wake up. Spring has arrived at Frog Pond. Here are the old frogs stretching their legs. At night you hear The males are calling to their mates. The males are the boys. They're calling to the girls. The females hear the call. The male hugs his mate. He fertilizes her eggs as she lays them in the water. Thousands of soft jelly covered eggs cling together in cold water. In about 10 days, the eggs hatch. The pond comes alive with thousands of tiny tadpoles. They wiggle their tails and breathe underwater with gills, just like a fish. They're not a frog yet. They're just a little tadpole. You can see the frog and the eggs. And here are the eggs hatching and two tadpoles. These are all the tadpoles. During the summer, the tadpoles swim about eating water plants. But water beetles, snakes, and birds are eating too. They're eating tasty tadpoles. Uh-oh, tadpoles have predators. When fall comes, look carefully in the water. Are any tadpoles left? Do you see them in the water? Get closer. I don't see any. Look here. Are they tadpoles or wet leaves? I'll show you real fast and then finish a page. They're brownish speckled tadpoles. Hundreds of them float by with the brownish speckled leaves. 
eating and swimming, swimming and eating, the tadpoles grow fast. Look at that. Those leaves are like camouflage. They help the tadpoles stay alive. When winter winds blow again, they burrow under the mud at the bottom of the pond. They do not eat. They do not move. They just sleep. Or hibernate. See them hiding under there, under the mud? When spring sunshine warms the tadpoles world, they awake and they're hungry. So they swim and eat and eat and swim. Tiny hind, hind legs begin to sprout. They grow longer and stronger while the tail grows shorter. Look at that. These little tadpoles have legs now. Back legs. The hind legs are called the uh, they're called hind legs because they're the back legs. They don't have front legs yet. I wonder what they look like swimming around like that. Tiny front legs begin to show. The tadpoles look like long-tailed frogs. All summer, the tadpoles change more. Lungs develop, and then they change more. Mouths and eyes grow larger. And then they change more until they become a frog. Here's them with their front legs coming out. They still look a little goofy, huh? But then they're starting to look more like a frog now with a tail. And they have lungs, so they don't stay in the water. They come onto land. When their tails disappear, they are no longer tadpoles. Now they use their strong legs and webbed feet to swim instead of their tails. So they can still go swimming in the water, but they don't breathe underwater. They breathe outside of the water, like us. Now they can rest on lily pads and leap onto land. The frogs flick out their long sticky tongues and capture worms, spiders, and dragonflies. That looks like a dragonfly. Now, where are the frogs? Oh, show me. Do you see them? Do you see them hiding in there? Now they are going to be the predators for what? What do frogs eat? Bugs. That's right, they eat bugs. Slowly the days grow colder, winter winds blow, birds fly south. Once again, the pond creatures hibernate. Where are the frogs now? Nowhere to be seen. The end. In the back of this book, they actually have pictures of different kind of kinds of frogs that we talked about during circle time. Um, up here, well, let's start over here. This is a leopard or grass frog. And this is in the United States. This is the only one I know for sure of that's in the United States. Um, this is a pickerel frog down here, this brown one. And this is a wood frog. And a spring peeper. He makes a peeping sound, that's how he gets his name. And then this one is a gray tree frog. I know that we have a lot of green tree frogs. I have never seen a gray tree, tree frog here. But it is, it is spring right now, so we do have a lot of rain going on. Maybe not this week, but 
I know we had a lot of rain last week. Um, and when it rains, the frogs like to come out. And they make lots of noise and um, and they find lots of bugs. So maybe after a good rain during the day, you can go outside and you can look for your own frog. And you can see if it's a full frog yet or if it's still a tadpole or part tadpole. Maybe he has legs but no no front legs. I don't know. But that will be a fun exploration for you to do. Um, and that was our story from tadpole to frog. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk more about um, amphibians. I'll do another video tomorrow about amphibians and, um, and reptiles. So we can talk about those differences um, and learn about the ones that live in South America. All right. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you all soon, hopefully.